What's up? Welcome back to another leak video. We're going to be playing some Ivor Jungle. Ivor in the jungle. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to be invading level one. <laughs> so yeah, welcome back. This is going to be a viewer suggestion from Mars P. I'll throw that uh, comment up now. But Mars P wanted me to, to play some uh, Ivor or Kali. Yeah, he wanted me to play some Ivor or Kali. I just kind of wanted to play some Ivern because I thought that would be a really nice ASMR kind of option and just kind of chill out with Ivern. We could definitely just, we could definitely just mark our red, I think is what we're going to do here. You mark your red, then you go a queue of theirs and smite it. But yeah, basically Ivern is a support jungler that doesn't actually fight the camps. He just kind of marks them and then takes them after 45 seconds with his passive. They grant the gold and the experience as soon as he takes it. So that's really good. But yeah, basically we're just gonna get this level one invade if we can. I'm surprised that they uh, didn't do more, take more precautions to sort of stop me from doing this. But yeah, basically we're just gonna, oh, we're just gonna get our passive here. We're gonna queue over, get this, and as soon as you get it, you're just gonna smite it. Boom. No need to worry about it. I was gonna say he might be there, but he is not. He is not at all. I didn't know the sign wasn't showing. So I was very confused, but I'm gonna try to go over Ivern's kit at level one here. So basically his Q is a line missile you throw out and the first target it hits is it's gonna snare the first target it hits and it's also gonna root them. Or sorry, root and snare is the same thing, but it's also gonna mark them and all if you uh, actually click on the target while they're rooted and marked, you can actually jump to them and it'll put you at your range onto them, or at melee range basically for melee characters and at a ranged range for ranged characters. But basically, after you're done with that, you're gonna want to, uh, oh nice volley. After you've done that, you're gonna want to, what's it called? We're gonna place another ward so he doesn't come over here and just kill that. But after you have, uh, you're on them, then you have your E, and your E is a shield that damages the first, uh, that damages the, uh, the people around you. So, okay, <laughs> sorry, I'm doing so bad at explaining this, because I'm trying to think about, yeah, you're paddling, there's just, so basically, you place a shield on someone, and after you place a shield on them, after two seconds, that will detonate, regardless of whether the shield gets popped or not, after two seconds, it will detonate in an, in an AoE around the person you shielded. And after it detonates, it's going to slow them and do damage around the target. And it's actually a pretty slow cooldown eventually, so you want to stay on top of that. We're going to go over here. They're fighting top lane, and I was just kind of doing my clear. So this is not the best. We're going to smite this away. We're going to run up top here. We're going to run here and just kind of get this guy. We're going to block him off from getting into lane here. We're just going to block him off from getting into lane. I'm just going to his lane phase is gonna get ruined since he took our scuttle. I ruin his lane phase. We can actually bully him very hard because he wants to stay for this farm. But uh yeah. We can actually just place a push here and he can't walk up because he doesn't know we're here. We're gonna get this siege. So we're just gonna keep staying in his lane. As you guys can see we don't actually have any camps we can take and our smite is on cooldown. So there's actually not a lot we can do. We can actually take this now that we have our smite though. We're gonna get this here, and all we want to do is smite it away, and then we just counter jungled. Wow, <laughs> sick guys! That's kind of how, uh, how Ivern works. You don't have to worry too much about it. But yeah, so I was saying, is kit after your E shield and your AOE's damage on that, you have our push, and you're, when, uh, you're just gonna place a push on the ground or on you. And whenever you place a push or you're in a push, you do extra damage. Oh dang! Oh, I really wanted to flash for that. I want to bully them. I'm gonna bully them on this back. I'm going to definitely bully them on this back so that they have to, uh, sort of just not, yeah, the Lucian is going to take his time and this guy's going to die. Yeah, this guy's going to die. We're just going to hit. Yeah, we're just going to chill out and do that. We're just being for sure annoying to, for the bot lane. And basically we can just sit in this. We know this is warded, so we're actually just going to back in this push. Oh, no, no, no. We're 
actually just staggering them, guys. That's what that's called. Hopefully Diana is not in the vicinity. If Diana was here, we'd be, like, definitely dead. Let's get back to our jungle, though. Helped out the bot lane. Did what we could. We're gonna try to mark this, this, then the chickens, and then we'll try to go back. Alright. But yeah, uh, as I was saying, you just place a bush on the ground, and whenever... And it's a bush for your team or their team. It's, it's like a neutral bush, but basically, whenever you... This has a passive, your W has a passive, that whenever you're in a brush, you deal extra damage with your auto attacks while fighting in the brush, or if you're just firing your auto attacks from the brush. So remember that for sure. For the future, if you guys are playing Ivern, we're gonna try to go bot lane for this scuttle since Diana just died. This scuttle is off, up right away, so we have smite. We're just gonna ping our smite and ping that we are on the way there. Since we know Diana is dead, there isn't like a crazy, um, crazy danger to this. We can just walk over here, or we know that Diana was dead, so we're just gonna queue it, go over here, mark it. Why is my, oh, what, no, 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 this is bad. Why can I not smite it? Hello, oh my gosh, my freaking passive is on a 15 second cooldown, what? Why is it such a long cooldown? Hello, Riot, make me a faster jungle clear, please. All right, let's take Grom for the health, then. Do this up. Now I can mark and smite away, so I think you should always save your smite for the scuttles, since the scuttles are the ones that are in the middle of the river. You, you can't really be waiting for them, or be waiting the 45 seconds, since um they could uh they could just take the scuttle in that time. So make sure you're just smiting the scuttles away if you can. The dra the dairy is definitely being annoying right now to the enemy team, so I much appreciate that. We'll get our build going, and then we'll be able to. I am gonna walk over. I have. I'm gonna ping that my smite is is almost up. Yeah, I don't know where I, where they are, man. I won't lie, but we're just gonna keep walking over here. I'll walk over my runes after in a second, guys. I know sometimes you guys wanna know my rune. We can just go here. Yeah, you can get it. We're just gonna go over here. <laughs> oh wow, we can pick her off here. We can just pick her off here. We're just gonna give ourselves a shield. We're just gonna slow her down there. Nice. Nice. Daisy getting that. We're gonna go for her ultimate. Nice. Okay, well, he's just gonna go down for sure for that, but it's gonna provide us with the, uh, we're just gonna, we're just gonna do that. He can do all the damage he wants. Boom. Daisy. Let's just walk away, Daisy. <laughs> no need to mess with them. But yeah, I wanna explain my ultimate. Basically, if you guys play I summon a big, um, a big or a boulder, boulder, um, creature. Okay, we're just gonna shield them up there. Oh, we are gonna miss our, okay. We're just gonna target that guy. I, I know we targeted the daisy, but it's better that way, because then we, uh, we could, we could have, uh, done that, but he could have just killed the daisy if we sent it after him. But yeah, let me go for daisy really quick, because she does a lot. It's a really good ultimate. It helps Ivern do a lot more than he should be able to. We're just gonna wait here and get this. I really always have horrible timing on this because on my packs because Ivern just supposed to leave the stuff up and then come back. We're gonna pick this up actually. Okay, so I'm gonna say really quick, you want to um you want to go Everfrost. I mean you want to go one hundred percent of the time. The better build is gonna be a moonstone into staff flowing water, but I really, really like the Everfrost right now, so I'm just gonna have some fun, I'm gonna go Everfrost into Cosmic Drive, into, uh, into Staff of Flowing Water, so that should be pretty fun. But as I was saying, Daisy is this big or bolder creature that you summon, and all her, her health, her armor, and her magic resist all scale off of your ability power, and her attack damage as well. They all scale off your ability power, so she's just basically as strong as you are at the time. And and she just kind of follows around the target you target. And the ba basically the best thing about her is that on her th every third auto on a target after she's following it around, if she gets a third consecutive auto on the same target, she will be able to um to knock them up with that auto. She sends out like a sh mountainous shockwave in their direction and just kind of, we should be doing this. We should be uh, getting these if we can. I don't know why we're not. But we should be able to be getting these... um dragons whenever we can. I'm gonna go over here though and get this dragon, pick it up there. I'm 
glad that the Darius wants to help me out. It's much appreciated. It definitely is like super a lot faster. And I just get to smite this right away. Just so he knows the damage. Nice. Sick, sick, sick. Here, here. Come here, come here, come here. Please, please, please stand here. Thank you. I just wanted him to get the blue. <laughs> I just really wanted him to get the, the blue. That's why I was like pinging him. And I was like, please, please, please. Basically, as well as on Dolphus Passive, after level 5, every buff you get, you can give to one other person. So that's really good for Ivor. So you just basically give extra buffs to your team. And it's very helpful. Give me a sec, guys. I have background right now. Sorry, guys. So sorry. I just had some background. I really didn't want to have to mute. So we're just back. We had a really... I went from mid to uh, to my buff really quick. Well, not to my buff, to the scuttle. And I couldn't... I didn't have smite for the scuttle. So I uh, I just went top. The Diana was here. She's very... She's only level 7. So we just kind of killed the Diana. We killed the Diana while... Uh, we'll just do that. Oh, we'll, we'll just... We'll block that. And then we also killed the Scion. Not a really big fight. It was just like two quick kills off uh, for our Caitlyn and our Zerath. I just did that to quickly do a cut because of the background. But yeah, basically, Daisy is very strong and you want to fight around Daisy. I think I was saying before that. And yeah, we're just going to get right back into this. We got the drag as well, I think. No worries. No worries. We're, we're just going to be supporting a lot of this game. We're just looking to be a very... Oh, we can't really support them over there. We're just looking... Since we do... We ourselves do some good damage. We want to be looking to... Uh, be looking to do that. But at the same time, we aren't just like a... Straight up... Uh, like wall of damage that just can face tank. So we have to play smart. Our Daisy, on the other hand, can actually tank for us. And you can shield Daisy. Instead of shielding yourself or an ally. To like get that AoE on her. And make sure you're getting that on people. We're gonna get this Darius. I kind of want to flash for the shield on him. Let's uh, let's get this here. Let's get this here. I'm just gonna put that shield on him and keep being supportive. As you guys can see, I'm playing up. I'm playing up for the Darius. I'm taking damage from him and I'm just giving him shield. I obviously could have died. Was very close to dying there, but I was in a supportive enough for a while where he just stayed alive. And we also flashed for that shield on him, so very beneficial for us. As I was saying. This Daisy is very huge because as long as you're playing around Daisy, you can fight. But if you don't have Daisy, you need to remember you're not very strong. Like, as a character by yourself, Ivern is not the strongest. But with Daisy, you have something. And with your team, you have something. Because most of your abilities are more supporter rather than just, like, straight up for fighting. Even though you can take those early game skirmishes. But the longer the game goes, the more evident it will be that you need a teammate with you to make your kind of kit work. We're going to go smite this over. Here, our team is doing tons of fights, but we're just getting at this kind of a very, very hard, uh, hard winning game for, on our side, which is tough, but that happens sometimes, I think. Yeah, it might be a very quick game, and then we can just hop right into another Ivern game for fun, I guess. <laughs> it depends on what the enemy team's feeling, but yeah, Ivern basically just, you kind of run around, do your best to help your team while you're running around, and just get your gold try to get my items because then again I, I want to just spend this gold you never really want to sit on this much gold but with the way Ivern works I have been able to sit on a lot of gold and just kind of chill out we're gonna buy oh we already have our boots so we can go for a cosmic drive sick 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 go over to our blue and then go over to the dragon oh if they shut down the, the Darius oh that's gonna be tough for Lucian yeah that's gonna be very tough oh okay nice shut down nice shut down for the enemy team I'm saying nice but you know, it's all in good fun. It's all in the sportsmanship, and yeah. <laughs> okay, well the enemy team did actually take out three, three or two people, so definitely doing something up there. Darius was smart enough to get out, so that's good on him. I'm gonna ping on my way to the dragon. Well, I think I could. I could go mid. I don't know if Echo. Echo seems to be out of mana. Oh, uh, let's try to fight. I want to show you guys the Ever Rose real quick. So what you can do, oh, I think, yeah, I think we can. Oh, there, I've surrendered. Okay, let me hop right into another game, guys. Give me a second. All right, guys, we are back, and we're going to be doing the same cheese. No worries, we're just going to go right into the next cheese. Where we are in this game now, I think I'm going to be able to go over the runes this time. So I, this is just basic. 
music is the most popular right now. You go airy, Olympus, Transcendence, Water Walking, with um, Font of Life and Revitalize. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I can go around. I can go around. Oh, she's gonna start. Oh, can we? Can we go there? Oh, she might. She might start blue side actually. Fun fact. Oh, what? Calm down. Oh, I'm just dead. I just. Yeah, I just died. That's fine. I'm just gonna flash away and then they can just die. Wow, I actually live that. It does make me start E, so I cannot invade now, but I just do a quick clear so we won't do the chase this time. We'll just go there. We will not be able to do the chase this time. That will be fine. Why is it locked on? Do not lock on. I don't like lock on. I mean, I like this when I press space, but do not lock on. Uh, but yeah, that's alright. Just a rough early game. Nothing to worry about. So our health doesn't really matter as Ivern. So we won't need to worry too much about that. I'm gonna do... Yeah, I'll do Gromp. And then... Oh wait, no, no, I can't more Gromp yet. I think I just smite this so I can get Q next. Plus smite on the first clear is always nice. Why did I just miss that? Oh, <laughs> what the heck? I'm not the best, I guess. Let's not worry too much about it. Mark that. Walk over to our race on our top side. Also, you don't generally want to do these crocs up here with Ivern because he has a very tough time doing crocs since, or no, he doesn't have a very tough time doing crocs. It's just when you harvest the crocs, it will only give you the gold of the big one and the first small one. It won't give you like the accumulated. Since you, they know you have to wait for your buffs to like charge up, they like to just take them right away. We will need our. Oh, I just heard the buzzer with the skin. You get like a, a half time buzzer when it's like ready if you actually are looking at it. Let's see this one. If you guys can like hear it, let's see. Oh. Oh. Yeah, there it is. You actually heard it. That's all funny. <laughs> it's like a half time buzzer. <laughs> because Ivern can just smite that buff away, but they did uh, the smart thing where they invaded us. At least I didn't die, so that's not a big deal, but I just have to play slower and smarter, or Jarvan is going to pop off in the top lane. Really good job on his part. Just getting our buffs here. I'm going to go ping that on my way to top. Since he just killed top, I can generally play safe. I'm going to pop that, yeah. I think uh, if he wants to... Oh, to, yeah. I, yeah, if he wants to go in, if he wants to go in, I think, yeah. Nice, okay, sick, sick, sick. Just gonna throw there for sure because I can just run to bot scuttle after my gromp. Well, that's gonna be tough though, we don't have smite for that long. I wanna get this gromp for the health. Yeah, I'm gonna be on my way there. I'm gonna be on my way there, I just don't have smite for just have to help them out on bot lane and then it might have been smarter to back anyway and then just run to the scrump i'm not gonna lie to you guys but sometimes you make decisions you have to live with and that's okay uh we're gonna we're gonna uh, see if bard wants to tunnel in oh no he doesn't want to we're gonna ping assistance on this we're gonna, we're gonna ping assistance on this here a little bit quicker. Nice. Sick. We just stalled for the, um, for the, um, for the smite, and we just smite away. Double scuttle, guys. Awesome possum. <laughs> that's what Ivern can do with the smite, and that's what generally why you want to wait. Save smite for the scuttles, because if you don't save smite for the scuttles, you will be in a sticky situation where you have to give it up, because you can't get it. And that's okay. <laughs> Sometimes okay, but if you can just be smart about it and get it, it's just better, generally. All good, though. We got both uh, scuttles, and now the good thing about this is that we'll always know the scuttle timer, and we can always just go right to the scuttle and smite it on our smite. So we'll be good to go on that. Just make sure you always technically want to have your smite for these scuttles. We just kind of messed it up since we didn't have a... We couldn't just smite buff, buff, and then, like, scuttle. We just kind of had to smite the buff. 
coughs in our jungle, which is a little bit weirder for I've heard as, as weird as that sounds. And also, like I showed last game, you want to remember that your counter junglering is very quick with Smite. So if the Scuttle, if you just killed Scuttle and you didn't have to use Smite, then you can just probably go take a quick camp from the enemy. And you should be good to go. It's it's a Zerath, just like the last game, but I don't think it's the same Zerath. I don't know. We'll just go here, though. Just, we'll just wait. If he just waits, I can come in here. Nice. Oh, nice. Bard got it. Well, I don't know if Bard should have gotten it, but hey, we got it. <laughs> Sick, okay, so we see that the scuttle is gonna be spawning there. So I'm gonna path towards bot side. I'm gonna mark the grump and path towards the grump. So my blue was gray at around the same time the scuttle was gray. And that one, as soon as the scuttle turns yellow, you guys will know it's 15 seconds till it's month. Sick, sick, bot lane uh, picking up some kills. Very well played from our bot lane. Awesome, possum. Our bard is playing very smart around our mid lane and our guy and my enemy as well so I'm very thankful for when a support plays around their jungler since we can achieve a lot with that we can also mark the blue here I would smite it but I need to smite like I said see now this is 15 seconds it'll be up at around uh, uh, 2 or 6 or 7 3 so I'll know it's like 7 3 or something like that you know around now it's seeing 7 2 so we'll just go here smite it oh please mark it and we'll just smite it away and then we can just go our mark and get this we'll ping that our blue is almost up so that they can get it and now we have level six off to off this and this has been a very oh, very slow um kind of game but still we're keeping up and staying ahead we'll ping that the twitch can wait for, as blue very obvious but look at this part guys this part is the part you hate to see i can um Oh wow, okay. Well, that's gonna be very tough. We'll just have to push this out. Yeah, that's gonna be. Actually, we'll let it push in. It pushes into him. I don't need to be taking that. I can just go over here and get my buff. Let's see, I missed that again. Don't ask me about the wolves with that freaking Ivern skill show. <laughs> I want to go here on a ping that the Jarvan assists me. Oh no, the Jarvan is. Um, I think I'm just gonna go straight to that blue. Oh, I don't think that. Uh, I think that Elise is tunneling here. If we can, uh, we can ping some assistance here. Oh, I think we can actually sneak this from under her nose, guys. I think. Yeah. Well, she doesn't necessarily know we're here. I think. I think. Yeah. We'll just pop Daisy and walk away. Just stay on top of her. Nice. Nice. We'll stay on top of him. Whoa. Oh, sick. He had to flash because of Daisy's. I'm not controlling Daisy at the best rate, but we did steal that blue one. Just kind of stayed on top of the uh, Elise for that fight. We did definitely were kind of a sne We definitely sneaked it for sure. Uh, we don't want to be annoying. Let's just go to our jungle. Yeah. You can take it. Why are you Daisy? Daisy, I will hit you if you are doing these things. I won't hit Daisy. She is a beautiful person. Well, is she a person? It's like a rock monster. <laughs> I won't hit Daisy, but, you know, <laughs> I won't hit anyone for that matter. I think Ivram would, though. Daisy smacks people up. Maybe it's fair. Fair is fair. Daisy just smacks some people up. I don't think you should smack Daisy, though. She might just <laughs> get mad. I don't think you want a Daisy mad. <laughs> but, yeah, I think it's good to have Daisy mad when we are smacking up their team as i saw as you guys saw there since we took away our blue she didn't get level six and we were at an xp because of that and after we were at an xp we were just able to pop daisy on her and just mess her up really um oh that's so sad oh my goodness yeah if we can uh if we can get this oh nice she's gonna mess her up Oh, nice dodge on that. We're gonna buy this here. Buy this. Oh, bot lane. Popping off. Bard 1v1ing. I think we do win this very hard. Nice. Bard with the flash and with the ignite. Oh, he's gonna miss that, but all he has to really do is stall. Yeah, he just has to stall. Did she get there? No, yeah, because I took them. Oh my gosh, he gave her the, the ward for that, actually. Funny enough. He did give her the ward for that. I think the 
the scuttle is still up though. I think we can go here. I think we can, we can, yeah, we can definitely go here. Look at that. He's just right there. Just, he's definitely like right there. Okay. And we're just gonna do this so that we know if she's at her buff. Oh dang, we don't know if she's at her buff.
Ascendance cooldown, so as soon as you're level 10 and you have Ionian Boots of Lucidity, you are instantly, you instantly have like a really good cooldown on your E. It's already a 4 second cooldown and it lasts for around 2 seconds. So it's only technically a 2 second cooldown. See, my shield is only down for 2 seconds here. Yeah, see, my shield's only really down there for 2 seconds and then I'm good to go. I don't have much to worry about outside of those 2 seconds and I'll only keep going down after my Cosmic Drive. So remember that guys, once you have your cosmic drive, I think you're at like 100 ability A's, so you are in a very good spot. And then after that, I'll just go to staff, keep up my healing, and then we'll be good to go. We'll just be chilling, good to go. If I actually, uh, if I shield them and stealth, you can actually walk into them and slow them for me. We'll get healthier. I really like health as stat on Ivern. It's very useful. Obviously the AP skills you better, but I really like the, uh, I'm gonna ping on my way to dragon because the dragon's 20 seconds and since the Elise showed a top we can just get this dragon free. Uh, yeah, we'll just use the fact that she's pressuring a different lane right now. Oh, she might just die top if she overstays too, so we'll just ping on our way here. Eight seconds. I wish the, uh, yeah, if the vein can come over here, that would be very nice. Alright, let's do it up. I, I want to pop Daisy, but I don't because I'd, I'd rather pop Daisy for a fight. Plus the vein is here to shred it. I would pop Daisy only if I really needed the shred, but I don't need the shred, I have the vein. So all I really need here is to tank it up and the vein's got it for us. Nice. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna admit actually. I wanna get this. I think I'm just gonna wait for this in my push. I'm gonna oh wow. Well, <laughs> never mind, my pushes are ruined. Four seconds, three seconds. <laughs> Let's get this guy's boom right away. So we're, we're staying on top of these drags. We're just getting our build, getting our farm. You guys want to make sure you're staying on top of your timers here. Because you don't necessarily need to be doing the camps. You just have to be getting the timers down. We can honestly focus more on our team right now since we have double dragon. We have our Everfrost. Tons of cooldown. We can definitely play around our, dra our team and these, uh, these small two drags. Alright. That's like, okay, I guess. Not too bad. I like the Everfrost for that reason though. Oh, if I can get to her camps here. If she takes long enough to take her camps, I can actually get both of them. Or kill her on the way up. I'm gonna stick on the J4. I'm gonna ping on my way to the J4. Because, oh, sorry guys. Sorry guys, sorry, sorry, sorry. Just stop my brother. Oh my god. So sorry guys. I never know when my brother's gonna like talk really loudly or be loud, you know, it is. it's just the way it is sometimes. I apologize if you, guys, if you guys heard that in the background, hopefully you didn't. But there is always that possibility that the mic picked up that up in the background, but basically what happened, my team kind of just fought here. We didn't really get much out of it. More, more of my team just wanted to fight, so they fought. G4 tried to go in. We didn't really go. We didn't do much off that engage. We just backed off. I started marking all my jungle. My jungle is all marked right now, as you can see, and I'm just kind of collecting the gold right now. Is kind of how it goes. I just marked from Gromp to Red, and I smite it Red, and then I just ran to Gromp, and now I'm collecting them all. Very strong, very, very strong. Staying on top of that. Now we can plan our team, though. I can, uh, we can just, uh, we can just ever frost here. We can just ever frost. Boom! Huge stun for him. Nice. We're just gonna smite that away, flash away from this. We're just gonna do this here. Nice. Okay, sick. Did it. The Everfrost snapped the Zerath and slowed two other people, I think. And then the, um, the Daisy knocked up two people, which is very beneficial for us. We're gonna we shield that up actually perfectly. We shielded the uh, the E damage with our shield and then shielded the, uh, the Ludens damage with our... We're just gonna do that. She can't take damage either way. It's not a big deal. <laughs> Let's uh, back up here. We do have our Cosmic Drive, I believe. Sick, sick. Cosmic Drive, Everfrost completed. It's gonna be most of our of our ability ace here but yeah i think staff of flowing water is too undeniably good for ivern so i think you just have to always build this the uh the moonstone is always huge for him in my opinion of course like i said more, more popular build but you can always have fun with your mythic i like going ever for us and then you go staff of flowing water third always honestly i just like the cosmic for uh the cooldown on my e my e is a 3.3 second cooldown so i e so technically it's only like a 1.3 second cooldown as soon as my e is like off just blows up but yeah basically it only lasts two seconds but the thing is it only needs like a, a really short cooldown it's pretty beneficial like see that guys i just get to spam it 
as much as I want. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, nice. Oops, sorry. I think I hit the mic there. I went forward a little bit. Apologies if I hit the mic. Let's uh, shield this guy up. We know Drake is up in like two seconds, so no reason to kind of risk it. I'm gonna go mark up my top camps and then head over to Drake. I think I'll just mark Gromp and we'll head over to it. Sorry if you guys uh. If I hit the mic, I'll check if that uh, if the mic registered that a little bit, but apologies there. Let's see. We'll just shield him up there. Oh, nice. And we can just have a frost. Boom. That would have snared her again. But, you know, it happens. We're just going to shield this up. Like I said, I want, I don't really generally, like I could just daisy, truthfully speaking, just to kind of have her here and uh, have her like chilling out. But you don't generally need to have heat. Daisy out unless you're gonna fight. Oh, I think they snared the uh I think I'm just gonna smite that away, right? Yeah, I was gonna say I just mark it and smite it away. We're just gonna do that. Let's walk out, take the chickens, take our reward, and go back into our jungle. <laughs> our team definitely loves to fight. They are definitely uh more partial to fighting, I can say I can see. That's okay though, sometimes you just want a more exciting game. All you really have to do as a jungler is make sure we're keeping up in drags and trying to help out our team when we can. But at the same time, we don't want to fall behind as the jungler, because Ivern is one of those junglers that can definitely fall behind, since if you don't mark your camps in time, the enemy jungler can either just come take them in the 45 seconds you can't take them. Because you have to remember, my smite is a very long cooldown, and I can't smite every camp. Oh, this Lux is so done before, I, I feel bad for her. Nice. I feel so bad for her. Yeah, let's just do this Baron up here. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I like that I got to show two different um, jungle paths this game with Ivern. The uh, the jungle path that kind of just, what's it called? Oh, the jungle path where you can invade and get the cheese off and then how you would path around that. And then the jungle path where you kind of just start off in your own jungle because they either predict your cheese or they, or they just want to, what's it called? Oh, wait, wait, we want to wait, we want to wait. Yeah, I was going to say, we want to wait for the Twitch. I was so confused why I stopped hitting it. I was like, what, what are we waiting for? And then I hit, hit, hit tab, and I'm like, hey, we're waiting for a Twitch to spawn. Uh, it's all good, man. I didn't have to smite, because then I can smite the red as soon as it's up. I think I'm going to go mark this as soon as it's up, so that I can get it right when uh, I come back. All I'm going to do is go get wolves and then come back. If he wants to get it, I think we both, uh, oh, what? It's just instant now. Why, why is that instant? Let me read this passage. Uh, Ivan will not hurt, blah, 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 for three seconds when fully grown clicking. Five killing, if the buff, wait, wait, if the buff was good by an ally, only Ivan can pick it up. If it was freely freed by Ivan, no. that was so weird. Do you guys see that? I just instantly, like, marked the red, and it just, what? Let's see if it works on this one. What? Oh, it's instant on buffs, apparently, so they can't steal your buffs. That's sick. I just noticed that it's instant on your buffs, so they cannot steal your buffs. Uh, that's pretty awesome. I will not lie. Alright, let's get this. Get our triple item now. We get to show you guys the power of Ivern. Alright, so basically, it's going to be your triple item. You're going to have 108 ability ace, 52%. 52% cooldown reduction is pretty fun, especially when... You know, you have all these abilities you can throw out. Daisy basically is on a zero second cooldown if she stays alive, because Daisy is a 60 second cooldown, and she stays alive for 60 seconds. So if Daisy lives for the full 60 seconds, you can just resummon her right away. So we're gonna do it here. We're just gonna whip, whip, whip out Daisy and have her around. This is where you kind of just get to have some fun with her. We're just gonna keep. Uh, you want to keep pressing R where you're walking, so Daisy's kind of walking where you're walking. Uh, we're just gonna click that. We're just gonna do that ever frost here. We're just gonna do that. Oh, we're definitely not in the small. Oh, that was a nasty. Uh, boom. Oh, nice. That's, that was a nasty uh, cleanse from the the bar, dude. That was so good. That was like literally just a like that was a nasty cleanse from Bard. I will not lie. I would have died to the uh, at least. I'm pretty sure because I was kind of just face tanking. Like I said, you don't want to face tank on Ivern. Like you can get overzealous, like I did there, and just start face tanking. But it's not a smart idea. Because as you saw, you want Daisy to face tank. Because if I face tank, it's just instantly a bad idea, and I probably lose. 
So yeah, <laughs> you know, especially since Daisy isn't like Dipper's, where she goes rampage mode after she gets like the, after you die, she just kind of dies. See, and we already have Daisy back up because she lived the full duration. Oh, I guess our passive goes um goes back after a duration. Daisy, come with us. You want to keep R clicking wherever you're clicking. So Daisy's walking with you, as I was saying. So Daisy actually pick, keeps up. Oh, six, six, six. We're just gonna shield that guy up. Oh, we're just gonna do that here and just kind of give him. We're just gonna do that there. I mean, if she wants to, but we'll just stay back. We'll just get Daisy to come. We'll just do that. Daisy to back up. We don't want Daisy to die when she's closer to dying. We, we can definitely have her walk up now. Oh, he's just gonna ulti that. I can take this and smite it away because 
because I have a two second cooldown on smite. And then just go over here. I have smite in like two seconds. Nice. Okay, we can actually summon Daisy for this to tank. If she needs if she needs to tank, she can tank. We have smite up, but we don't think we'll need it unless Lux ult. Nice. 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 Sick, sick, sick. We can go over here. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, let's go, go, go. Go, 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 go. Nice. Nice, Daisy. Oh, dang, 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 dang. Oh, I didn't get to shield myself. Oh my gosh, guys, that Zerath is definitely making it work for my kills. Nice, Trevor should have done that like 20 years ago, but it happens. <laughs> Okay, we got picked up by him, but our bard actually managed to respawn and get back. I think we should just wait for the minions, I guess. Oh, our German's going for the end. Let's go, buddy. Pop off, dude. Care for this Morgana that just spawned, though. <laughs> nice, nice. Oh my gosh, the bard one we won. Let's go, buddy. Wow, our whole team's like popping off. Our whole team is doing great. <laughs> a bit of a, of a miscalculation. I'm definitely losing track of my old bard in these fights and just not. Attention to myself with this build. Oh, I have like 118. This is like a lot of ability haste. I don't think this scales fully now. I don't think I think it stopped giving me like the full amount of ability haste because we had 108. It only gave me 10 now. Unless we built, yeah, this didn't give ability haste and that didn't give ability haste. So, like, I guess after 100 ability haste, it just cuts it in half whenever you build ability haste. But honestly, like, to have a shield that literally only has a 1.2 second cooldown. Just instantly do it right away. Yeah, no, to have a shield that's only like a 1.2 second cooldown, it's pretty, it's pretty strong. Like, as you guys can see, two seconds and then 1.2 seconds and it's back up. We're just gonna have to summon Daisy here. Not like too much. Honestly, with the last few fights, it's just been us messing around with like how much of a lead we have. I'm just kind of doing that. Not really the biggest kind of issue. Just gonna get to chill out. I have Smite at 900. Sick, sick, sick. Let's just pop that on him. And we have Elder now, so that means most of our team will just kind of go off. I do like the Everfrost on Twitch, but I think the Riftmaker might be a better option still, honestly speaking. We're gonna go over here. We're just gonna shield him up for the assist. Okay, well, we're just gonna time this here. Nice. We're just gonna. Oh my goodness, the Zera is just gonna one shot us. Uh, he's got items, it's okay, he can get one shot by our J4 here. Yeah, that's okay. The Zera can always be an issue for us, but our team will always be an issue for the Zera, so <laughs> it's a good trade off. You can honestly build whatever you want at the end of your build. Ivern is such a. just one of those characters. I would say, with how much I'm dying and how much they're focusing, you could go for like a Gargoyles just to kind of have that, but it could really be anything speaking like it could just be mostly anything but yeah that's gonna be ivern guys i hope you guys enjoyed very chill game very kind of just chillaxing relaxing other than that i hope you guys enjoyed like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one